nowadays the content that people are producing on twitch.tv and you know youtube live are being edited cut up and posted elsewhere for extra content and to kind of grow their own live streams the only issue with that is that when people download the vod or when people are doing recordings on their local OBS where for themselves when you record that you're getting your gameplay footage with your camera and possibly a twitch chat and all the notifications and all the all the stuff that comes with live streaming interrupting a gameplay video or an edit that you want to cut up and possibly post on TikTok. Let's say you've got a 5 versus 1 clutch in Valorant but some text to speech donations come in and you've got it turned down but the live stream isn't turned down so everybody else hears it. The solution to that would be recording the sources individually which wasn't a thing until now. Let's take a look. How's it going folks? Welcome to another video. Before we get started, if you do like this, hit subscribe, hit like down below. If you get any comments or questions about the video, leave a comment. And if you get anything that you want to see me cover in the future, leave another comment down below as well. As I said in the intro, up until now it's been extremely difficult for content creators to separate their webcams, their alerts, Twitch chat, gameplay footage in OBS itself without having separate OBS settings running and whatnot and a lot of convoluted ways around it. It's been very difficult. But the OBS plugin master himself, Exceldro, has once again excelled himself. I'm sorry. He's created a plugin which allows OBS Studio users to record individual sources and record multiple sources at the exact same time. First things first, you're going to want to download the plugin. As, as a plugin, it's super easy to download. You head over to the OBS forums, you go into the plugin section, and you're looking for the source record plugin by Exceldro. I will leave a link down below at the top of the description so you guys can find it dead easy. Once you're in there, hit download. Download for your platform, be that Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever you're on. Download it and then simply copy the files from the download folder into your OBS installation file. Once you've ran through that, that's you done. Brilliant. Make sure to restart OBS if you've got it open and we can now take a look at how to use the plugin. Exceldro has been making plugins for OBS for ages and he's absolutely brilliant at it and once again he has excelled himself in a user experience which is making this whole process really really simple for people to use. So taking a look at OBS here, I have got in front of me a little bit of gameplay footage of me playing some spell break with some friends and you can see from my scene setup that we have the game footage, a webcam and some alerts. Now, what we're wanting to do here, obviously you can't see me on screen because I don't record using OBS. But what you're wanting to do is head into the source that you're wanting to record. Hit right click, filters. And then here, because it's a video file, you've got audio video filters and then effects filters. Head into the effects filters and down below you've got source record. Press OK and you're met with the following options. If you've used OBS to record anything before, these recorded options will look super similar to you. You'll know exactly what everything means when you see it, with the exception of a couple of little options that have been added as additional extras. First thing you want to do is choose your path where you want to install them. That's here. Second, you want to name your file. I recommend that if you're recording things like gameplay and webcam, you name them as such. So for this, with a gameplay, I'm going to stick in game recording in the start and then have date, time, whatnot in there as well. That means that when I'm looking in the folder, I know that it's a game recording. We've got recording format, encoders, and record mode. Now, record mode is important because if you're wanting to record while you're streaming, you want to set this to streaming. If you want to record while you're recording, you can set that to recording or you can set it to both or always. It's simple. Replay buffer, you don't need to check that. That is for OBS's replay function where it calls back clips from before. Different audio, you now have the option to record different audio if the video that you want to record uses a different source. So if I had a webcam which was using a cam link but my microphone had a different audio source 
I would check different audio and then I would select whatever audio it was from in here. So for this one, I would choose a uh, microphone because that's what in OBS, that's what my microphone is named. Then down here, you've got the uh, bitrate controls for your video footage. So obviously you want to up this to, I think mine is 20,000 uh, kilobits per second. Um, keyframe intervals, CPU presets, whatnot. That's all set to your settings that you've used to record in OBS before. Once you've done that, hit close. And that's you done. You can repeat that process for any source or anything that you want to record separately. And obviously whatever file you put it in, it'll be saved when you are streaming, when you're recording, when you're doing both. You'll have all the footage there and it is ready to go. Keep in mind, if you're using an MKV file format, you will need to go into the OBS settings at the top left, hit Remux Recordings and select the files in there to Remux them post recording. And that's it, it is super simple. As I said at the beginning, Exceldro has done a fantastic job of making these things really easy for us and he has totally outdone himself again with providing content that people like myself, like you, uh, that use OBS, this is the, the stuff we want built into OBS and it's unfortunate that it's having to be done through plugins but we've got people in the community that are happy to make them and are more than capable of producing uh, quality plugins for us and I'm more than happy with that rather than not having the option there. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, hit like, hit subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.